Good morning everyone. We are in a wet and chilly Johannesburg this morning. Come out to the farm to do some pest control and some reviews on a few brands. Uh, this, what we've got at the moment is the Zabroya Cossack 2. Um, it's not marked 2, this is the Cossack. Um, the layout's changed a little bit on the stock design, uh, pretty similar. Um, the stock has moved the cocking lever to the forward position slightly. Uh, it's fitted with one of our new Discovery VTZ 3212 by 42 uh, scopes with a very unique reticle which you'll see later on in the video. Um, and this scope by the way is a first focal plane model as well and it's going to really make a huge impact in the market because this is the lowest price first focal plane scope in the market in South Africa at the moment. Um, we'll go through a little bit on the technical stuff of the scope at a later stage as well uh, when you have a look through the viewfinder of the uh, Eagle Vision scope cam system. Um, but just to go through the run around on the gun uh, quickly, um, side cocking lever, a 10 shot magazine, uh, very important uh, thing or aspect I've seen on the actual Zabroya magazines. Um, the magazine loading direction. The gears or the hooks on the gears have to face the rear of the gun. Uh, quite surprising on uh, this gun, an anti-double load mechanism, uh, which is even found on guns double this price at times. Okay guys, so yeah, this is a 22 caliber, um, 10 shot magazine. 44 joule version, um, shrouded barrel. Question I get a lot from people is, what do I need to do when I maintain or clean my gun? Uh, I thought just well worth mentioning, when it's a new gun, just clean the barrel with a, uh, some kit like the patchworm bore system kit that we also have at pelletguns.com. Brilliant system, it doesn't destroy your barrel o-rings. Um, on that subject, I like to mention this, um, a lot of times people do damage or remove their barrel o-ring on the inside of the barrel. So for me, being out in the field here, I always use a quick check system to see if the barrel o-ring is damaged or lost. Uh, pellet skirts can damage it, cleaning can damage it. So, just a quick check system, cock the gun, put your finger on the pellet probe, take a shot without a pellet obviously in the barrel, and if you feel pressure blowing, onto your finger on the pellet probe your barrel pro uh, o-ring has disappeared or been damaged or shot out so yeah that's got to be replaced important thing when you pop out in the field like this bring along some spare parts for the full nipple for the for the barrel o-ring for example um, the filling system on this gun over here insert the full nipple over here quite simple gauge is located down below the barrel here um, some people would scoff at that, um, if you're careful and you know your gun safety, it's not an issue. Um, something unique uh, with a Zabroya also, um, that I've mentioned earlier, is anti-double load mechanism. Obviously, when you decock the gun, you can decock many air, air guns, you actually override the, the anti-double load system, as you see now the magazine's rotated there. So you can double load if you override that system by decocking the gun. Should never do that um, with a magazine inside the gun because then you end up double loading and uh, that can lead to issues with a gun. Um, trigger system on this gun, brilliant. You'll see I'm going to take a, just a dry fire shot here without a pellet. Uh, I hardly touched it. Um, it's adjustable, comes from the factory set beautifully um, i wouldn't go and uh, mess around with the settings on this gun um, guys a gun in this price bracket it comes regulated to be honest with you there are lesser known brands being introduced in this country right now as we speak that are <laughs> in a price bracket much higher than this and to be honest with you a product like this um, with their their barrel that they fit. They also have the option with a Lothar Walter barrel, which isn't required. In my honest opinion, I've seen groupings, one old uh, size of my pinky nail groupings at 100 meters. Question is, would I buy it? Would I look at it? If it was my money, I would definitely consider the Zabroya. Have a look at it, check it out on our website. Go for it. Ooh, that 
close 30 meters. And I think I'm out of ammo. First focal plane, Just zooming out here. What are you loading up there? <laughs> Solid shot that. Ah, this is a Broya 44 Jewel, 18 grain JSB. Uh, doing its job here with best control. Uh, looking at about on this new cylinder. Uh, let me just. Oh, someone else took care of that one. Uh, on this new cylinder with a longer barrel, you're looking at r roughly 80, 90 shots per full at this power level, which is quite exceptional. Um, I don't get a chance here. And there we have it, taking care of that one. And there's 50 more coming in. Oh, the one I was aiming at. <laughs> uh, we got some guys that are trigger happy here today. And there's a beauty coming in. And another one. Was a solid shot. Uh, we're looking average 30 meters here. Uh, we leave this one for someone else. Oh, took care of that one. Um, as you can hear, the wind is pumping here today, quite solid. Um, even in this conditions here, you can see over there. No shortage of pests here. Let's try that, it's 55 meters. Oh, pulled out a bit with the wind there. Come on. Super smooth cycling action, this is a broyer. And the beauty is when you get a bit excited, you don't double load.
Oh, solid shot that. 30 meters again, and he's attracting his friends. Ah, I see what I've done here. I put straps around the barrel here, and it's actually forced my point of aim down after I zeroed the gun. So take note of this when you're using the Rockstad system, guys. Okay, very skittish now. Just give them time to land. Sevier? Old school. Old school. So the guys have been shooting from outside, from inside here, yeah, sitting down nicely. Some of them sitting over there. And they're sitting this side and they're taking hold of it. So let's quickly see if it is uh, lining up. Fifty-five meter shot there. Oh, the wind! Solid shot. I could hear it connect there. You can see feathers flying around there. It was a solid shot. Ah, and I'm out of ammo again. Just gonna fill up. So simple, um, just slide the pellets in there, there's no plastic lenses and gadgets to rotate in different directions, which makes things more difficult and the possibility of damaging your pellet skirt. Take note, if you drop your pellet, don't even pick it up or reuse it because you're not going to get an accurate shot. Um, simple, as I explained before, the gears on this mag has to face you. And obviously, needless to say, the skirt of the pellet faces you. So install that in there. And Another solid shot. That's 32 odd meters that. <coughs> and the Zabroya speaks with authority. Another solid shot, guys. Best control with the Zabroya Cossack 2. Um, would it be my choice? To be honest with you, I own one personally. Um, not the latest model, I've got the previous version and why would i pick something like this well i'll show you why that's why i wouldn't think twice Guys busy refueling guns and now they're gonna go shoot again. Guys, what is it to say? Zabroya, awesome. I own one myself. Uh, I wouldn't think twice to recommend this to someone. Uh, if you're conscious of loading the magazine with the gun in the right direction, um, you're not gonna have any problems with the product. Um, it's a conscious decision. Just read the manual, it's really simple. Um, ultra butter smooth cocking lever, uh, it's got a magnetic tip, closes the lever, make sure it's closed when you fire a shot after cocking the gun. I'm in love with it and I personally think uh, this one is going my way. 
it ain't gonna go to the shelves in the shop. Uh, it's gonna be my baby. 